Hi Spain fans and hola chicos, it's Wendy here. As of 2020, around 370,000 Brits have opted to reside full-time in Spain and many thousands more owned holiday homes here. Today we are going to meet a few people, some good friends, who have taken the plunge and opted to make Almeria their full-time home. I've been invited into their homes and as many of them moved over just prior to Spain being plunged into lockdown, we are going to have a natter about how they've settled in. The good things and the bad things they've encountered to date and why when thinking of moving abroad, Spain was their number one choice. Real people, real lives, great stories. Very much hope you enjoy and if you do, please hit subscribe. The most personal and rewarding is how we've got the house and it's just beautiful. How, how it's we just and how we relax and we've chosen to have retirement in Spain rather than the UK because to be truthful, I think we'd be demented or killed each other by now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah. 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 Just being able to come out here and, and relax and integrate with everyone and just have the life that we want to have. Well, I think everyone's been so welcoming um, and you can tell everyone's come over here for the same reason. It's very much more relaxed, it's very much more calm. I mean, everyone, you go down to the bar, everyone will talk to you, or everyone says hello, and you don't get that in England anymore. So for us, yeah, it's definitely the, one of the main reasons. spending time together we've never in 44 years of marriage we have never been together one on my birthday which we celebrated here this year and it was fantastic about 13 people turned up which was a lovely surprise um just being together really isn't it oh it's beautiful that really is lovely um, actually thinking about moving to Spain it being a dream and then actually achieving it and moving over here and you know actually living living the dream, not just dreaming about it. Now we're actually living the dream. I think it's the, the climate that, that first sort of draws to Spain. Um, the cultural side is so much more relaxed than England. So that's what we wanted to sort of come over for. I think it was more. Uh, the ease of, ease of getting here, it's a nice flight, it's only two and a half hours, the climate is very, very good uh, and that's actually why we sort of chose this particular area. We looked to kind of up Mercia, we looked down in Malaga and this actually seemed to have the best climate throughout the year. So we felt uh, this is the right place for us. Actually, I've been to Spain on holiday and I've always admired the Spanish way of life and the relaxed lifestyle. Um, it's always been a dream really that, you know, I'd like to move out to Spain. And I made it happen. I like to that one, I think. Mm, I think it's better. <laughs> I met a lovely lady in Benidorm, and I thought she was on holiday, and she said, no, I live in Arbalaeus. So I said, oh, where's that? She said, Al Maria. So I said, can you write it down for me, because I couldn't spell it. And so I went back home and said to Brian, I met this lovely lady, she loves Arbalaeus, you know, should we go and look at properties? And looked up the name of some estate agents, I couldn't remember the name of Kalida, um, but when I saw it, it rang a bell, and that's how the journey began. Meeting friends, um, so we, we met lovely people, Pat and Chris, um, he's actually a decorator and he's done a wonderful job, so I'd recommend Chris Webb to anybody, um, but they're really good friends and they've made it a lot easier for us. Our most enjoyable experience is making our house a home and just enjoying it as we go along. Well, I think from my perspective, it was a, I think it was the first year the sort of grandkids and the family came across and kind of looked and thought, oh wow, do you know what I mean? A uh, house with a pool, blah, 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 sort of thing you would never have expected. Unbelievable experience. Just getting to know Spain, really, and just settling into all the layers. I think moving over um, during the winter season, it's the weather, you just can't beat it. 
it's, it's beautiful, it, it's warm enough. So yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's just one of the main reasons we, we sort of move over. Apart from going out and socialising and drinking lots of wine, um, yeah, I have actually. I've joined Slimming World. Um, unofficially, we've got a little walking group going. Um, I think that's about it. Oh, Spanish, Spanish lessons. I've been a bit lapsed with those, so if I'm completely honest, it's the wine it takes over. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's not much to do in lockdown, is there? Exactly. <laughs> Ken's changed his personality, did you? <laughs> <laughs> no, um, we have, we have our, as I say, a good circle of friends. Um, I have my two ladies' lunches, which is great. Um, I go walking, I have a, go in a walking group. Um, I mean, there's lots of social events going on that we tend to attend with friends. Yes. So a nice, busy um, lifestyle, really, a nice... Yeah. Yeah. A, a busy lifestyle, style, but a very relaxed Relax. lifestyle. Oh, yeah. that's lovely. Very good, actually. We've just joined uh, recently the Spanish classes. So we've had two classes that we've completed. So we're learning Spanish. Um, I'm going to be uh, probably three or four days a week um, at uh, Dog Whiskey. So I love dogs. Oh, that's and, lovely. Yeah, and also... The gym. Just, yeah, just... Uh, Haven't you been so spotted at Bingo? Oh. Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I've seen you at Bingo. <laughs> and the quiz, yes. <laughs> yes, fantastic. Good. Just want to throw that in there. Bingo's going on as well. Yeah. Tom Hardy. <laughs> I agree with you. Is it not, is it not the first time he's been chosen? No, but, you know, Jordan all the way for me. 100%. Who is Tom Hardy? <laughs> oh, you wouldn't know your man. I've got to go and check this out. I don't know who he is. Bradley Walsh for me. Brian, anyone? I can't think of anybody I'd want. <laughs> <laughs> you just love your own company, don't you? What about for half an hour lying on a sunbed? <laughs> <laughs> anyone you could choose? <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. That was that was our main ambition really was would see the family and have quality time with the family. But unfortunately that's not happened because of today's COVID situation. Yes, we do. Yeah. Grandchildren, my two sons, my best mate, your brother, my sister. So there's going to be big parties going on here next year. <laughs> but anyone tapping for an invite, then you don't want to come. No, you, you don't, don't have to name names. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's just not. All welcome. If everybody, and actually when I've had a few glasses of vino, I invite anybody and everybody, <laughs> even the lady in the corner shop. So <laughs> if everybody comes out who I've actually invited, there's not enough days in the year. <laughs> We've got uh, about 15 or 16 people coming in August. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Very much hope you enjoyed meeting a few of the people who've made El Maria their full-time home. You'll get to see them again soon and be introduced to many more. And don't forget, for more real people, real lives and great stories, hit subscribe. See you soon. Hasta pronto.